I'd also like to thank the organizers for the invitation to speak. I'm not going to go extensively into the different ways that uh, radiofrequency ablation can be administered, but certainly there are advantages and disadvantages of each approach, whether uh, this is done percutaneously, laparoscopically, or open. Um, we all know the advantages and disadvantages of open and percutaneous and laparoscopic <clears throat> issues, although some would suggest that by the percutaneous approach, the efficacy or the ability to destroy tumors is highest. Again, this is not clear, but this is generally the, the uh, statement. And with colorectal disease, we're going to go into this problem of local recurrence with ablation. So this uh, in situ destruction uh, approach has been uh, found to be most useful for small tumors. And based on early results was quite encouraging. Looked like pretty good early survival, but a notable recurrence rate even uh, early after treatment. So this prompted us to, to look at our own data. And we looked at patients with liver-only colorectal metastases. And we looked at our series uh, and looked at those who underwent resection a combination of resection of dominant lesions, ablation of contralateral smaller lesions at the same procedure, and those who underwent ablation alone. Uh, it's a retrospective look. Ablation was applied for, quote, unresectable tumors, unquote. So you can't strictly compare those who had ablation to those who had resection based on that retrospective analysis, admittedly. but. Uh, as you look at those scans, which I've done, uh, we might, with our approaches to surgery now, consider resection for a lot of those patients. And interestingly, if we look at the FONG factors, which we did, uh, the prognostic factors, they were identical in these three groups. And the biggest difference was not the number of tumors, size of tumors, primary TN, CEA, uh, but rather the treatments. And when we looked at the patterns of recurrence, any recurrence occurred the least frequently with resection and the most frequency with ablation alone and was intermediate with the combination of therapies. The liver-only recurrences were strikingly different, and the local recurrences were quite different. So this was an interesting finding. The survival curve...